Number 64, calculate the delta H for the process, and then they give us this formula that we need to create, right? Zn plus S plus 2O2 yields Zn SO4. And then they give us the two equations that we need to use with their corresponding delta H values. So this is a Hess's law problem. So we got this. The first thing that we're going to do for Hess's law, right? And remember, Hess's law is just combining your two equations that you have in order to get the equation that you want. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to say, I want this equation. So I just state it first. And in this case, I'm going to strip away the states because honestly, who cares, right? All I care about is the number and the, you know, the substance. So Zn plus S plus 2O2s yields Zn SO4. Cool. Now, Hess's law is a very systemized type of process, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to scan the equation that we want from left to right, and we only work with one substance at a time. So we're starting with the left-hand side, right? And we're going to look at the Zn, which means that I don't care about this. I don't care about this, and I don't care about this. Focus in on one substance at a time, guys, okay? So what we're going to do is we're just going to look through the two equations. So let's call this first equation number one, and let's call this second equation number two, right? Look through the two equations and tell me which one has the Zn in it. Is it equation number one or is it equation number two? It's equation number one. Here it is, right? This is just the zinc. I don't classify it as zinc S because it's not ZnS, right? It's just Zn. Now, the placement and the amount of numbering or how much you have has to match. What do I want? I want one zinc because I don't see a coefficient in the front, right? There's a one here. And I want it on the left-hand side, right? This is the left-hand side. Does it match? Yeah, I have one zinc in this equation and it's on the left-hand side, right? You see how there's one zinc and it's on the left-hand side. So all we have to do is we have to just rewrite the equation number one. So now in this case, I'll just do it in red. So I'm just gonna say Zn plus S, I'm not gonna write the states, yields Zns. And since I didn't do anything to this equation, I don't have to do anything with the delta H, but the delta H has to come along for the ride. Okay, cool. We're done with the zinc. Now we just keep doing the same thing again. So let's go to the next substance, which is just the S. So when I'm looking at the S, I don't care about this. I don't care about this. I don't care about this. Okay. So you're just focusing on the S and it looks like I want one S and I want it on the left-hand side. Look at the two equations. Which one has the S? Oh, it's also equation number one, right? Equation number two doesn't have just S, right? But here's the thing, guys. If you already wrote down one equation like we did here, you're not going to write it down again. So since I already wrote down equation number one, don't write it down again. Skip over this one. And we could totally skip over things if we need to. So pay no mind to S, but I just kind of wanted to show you that just as like a little trick. Now let's move on. We're keep going to the left to the right. So now we're over here. Okay. So when I'm focusing in on this, I don't care about zinc or sulfur or this. How many O2s do I want? I want two O2s now, and I still need it on the left-hand side. Which equation is it? Now it's equation number two. And let's see, does it match? Yeah, I have two O2s and it's on the left-hand side of this equation. Do you see that? There's two and it's on the left-hand side. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite this equation. So Zn S plus 2O2 yields Zn SO4. And since I didn't do anything to this equation, the delta H just comes along for the ride. 
Okay. Now here's the thing. If you wrote down the two equations, in this case they gave us two equations, if you wrote them down, you will not write them down again. So technically I should be done. So I don't even have to worry about this. That's like a little trick. Okay, so as soon as you write down your equations, you don't have to write them down again. So what we're going to do is now it's basically just like a checking. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add these two equations together. Now here's the thing, and maybe I should bring this a little bit over this way, and maybe I'll bring this a little bit over this way so that the, the yield sign are right on top of each other. Cancel out like uh, compounds that are on opposite sides. So for example, I see that I have a ZNS on the right-hand side here and a ZNS on the left-hand side here. Things that are on opposite sides, they cancel. Can I cancel anything else out? Doesn't look like I can. So now I have three different things on the left-hand side and I have this on the right-hand side. So ZN plus S plus two O2s yield Zn SO4. And look, this is the equation that I wanted. So I know I did it correctly. So now all I have to do is just add the delta H values. So negative 206 plus negative 776.8, negative 206 plus negative 776.8, I get negative 982.8, and that's in kilojoules, because these were just in kilojoules. And that is your answer. Calculate the delta H. Here it is. So we're going to release, because it's negative, 982.8 kilojoules uh, into the surroundings when we make this reaction. And that's it. Hope for this help. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Uh, if you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button and tell your classmates, tell your friends, you know, maybe we can help them out too. We also got physics videos and math videos on the channel. So go check the channel out. We almost got like 3000 videos. It's pretty crazy. So let's keep going. All right. See you all later. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.